Hey guys, Dan here for the Dangerously Fit Academy. So it's been a while since my last video. So the last six weeks I've been moving from the Sydney to the Sunshine Coast, which has been very hectic, which is why I haven't been around for a while, but now I'm here, there'll be much more video content being put out on a weekly basis again like before. Plus we've got two new courses coming. We've got the uh, Sydney Kettlebell course, which is coming up in November. And we've also got a Perth Kettlebell course in January. And we're looking at coming up to Darwin as well in the next couple of months as well. So if you're near those cities, feel free to hit me up and book your spot in our next kettlebell course. So for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on one of the still mace exercises that I absolutely love. It's called the figure of eight swing. So with this, what we're going to set up with the figure of eight, we're going to have a split stance. So just pointing out 45 degrees. And first off, we're just going to work the back swing. So you might just need to choke up on the mace just so you don't hit your feet. Okay, so when we're doing the back swing, we're actually pivoting the foot as we're bringing it back. So squishing the bug on the feet as we're turning the hips. Okay, and then for now, the first half is we bring this up nice and high. Okay, so it's pointing upwards. And then from there, we're gonna put it in the back pocket like you're doing a tennis serve. So put it in the back pocket. From there, we rotate. Okay, and then we cast the mace away. Okay, that's the first part. So I'll just do a few reps for that so you can see. So we do the back swing. So back swing, bring it up, over the shoulder, and then out. Okay, we're just gonna speed this up. So with the mace head itself, it should either be pointing upwards or pointing down. It should never be sort of flailing out to the sides. Okay. And then from there, what we're going to do is, at the end of that forward swing, we're just going to catch it with the other hand, and we're going to flick it back up again. So this is a fantastic exercise for working the shoulders, the grip strength, but also the core strength as well. Okay, so we're just going to put those together, those two movements. So we're going to do the back swing, remembering to pivot the feet. So bring it up. Okay, and then from there, cast away, catch it back up into the back swing. So this is a real fantastic exercise. If you've got any clients that are athletes, any rugby players, any MMA people, anyone that needs that circular overhead strength, that's gonna be a fantastic exercise for them. But also for athletes where they need good grip strength as well, this really fries the grip. So it's a fantastic exercise for all of your clients as well, just to build that sh strong shoulder integrity that we need, even if we're doing sort of standard weight training and stuff. Because most of the training that we do, you know, it's all sort of sagittal plane, up and down, and it's all compression. The great thing about training with clubs and maces is, it actually strengthens, not just the muscles, but it strengthens the joints as well, which conventional strength training just doesn't do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So there's gonna be videos on a weekly basis again. And uh, sorry it's been a while since my last video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye.